it's another class with Matima Soft. Welcome to this video. And we have this question right here to solve. We are to solve for M and N. So let's begin. So let's approach this by taking the, uh, the given information 2 raised to the power of M plus N equals 32. So we can say 2 raised to the power of m plus n equals to 2 raised to the power of 5. Our 32 is 2 raised to the power of 5. And that means that m plus n equals 5. So let's make m the subject of formula here by saying that uh, m equals 5 minus n. So we go back to the other given information which is 4 raised to the power of m minus 4 raised to the power of n equals to 48. So let's substitute substitute m equals 5 minus n. So it means that instead of writing m here we write 5 minus n okay 5 minus n minus 4 raised to the power of n equals to 48 okay and then we can say we have 4 raised to the power of uh, 5 okay divided by 4 raised to the power of n minus 4 raised to the power of n equals to 48 so we can say we have 4 raised to the power of 5 uh, Let's multiply that. Okay, so that's uh, 4 raised to the power of 5. That will give us 1, 0, 2, 4. Then we have 4 raised to the power of n minus 4 raised to the power of n equals 48. Let's put this over 1. Let's put this over 1. So our x, uh, we can multiply all through by 4 raised to the power of n. So multiply both side by 4 raised to the power of n multiply this side also by 4 raised to the power of n so that we can say that um, 4 raised to the power of n into bracket 1 0 2 4 over 4 raised to the power of n minus 4 raised to the power of n over 1 equals 48 over 1 times 4 raised to the power of n then we close the bracket so 4 raised to the power of n times this will give us 1, 0, 2, 4. And then minus 4 raised to the power of n times 4 raised to the power of n. That will be 4 raised to the power of n raised to the power of 2. And then we can say equals 48, okay, bracket 4 raised to the power of n. So let's 4 raised to the power of n equals uh, x. So let's represent 4 raised to the power of n by x. So we can rewrite this now as 1024 minus x squared minus 40 uh, equals to 48x. We are arranging this to form a quadratic equation. Okay, so if we take 4 raised to the power of, I mean, minus x squared to this side, and then we also take uh, 1024 to that side. So that will make what remains here to be 0. And we have x squared plus 48x minus 1024. And then we can say x squared plus 48x minus 1024 equals to 0. Let's use quadratic uh, uh, formula to do this. Minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and then we can see that our a is 1 okay our b is 48 and then our c equals minus 1 0 okay 2 4 so let's uh, put that in the formula that will be minus 48 plus or minus root 48 square minus 4a and our c is minus 1024 all over 2a which is 2 bracket 1 
So we have x equals minus 48 plus or minus uh, 48 square. We have to do 48. Uh, that's 48 times uh, 48. 48 times 48. That will give us 2. 304 minus because this minus here we multiply this minus here and that will be plus so the next thing is for us to do four times one zero so that will be four zero nine six over two so we have x equals to minus 48 plus or minus okay we have to add this together that will give us zero uh zero four and then we have six and then we have to find the square root of that so x now equals minus 48 plus or minus a t okay and that will be over two so our x equals minus 48 plus or minus uh, 80. Now let's separate it. We can separate it now. Okay, that will be plus 80 over 2 or minus 48 minus 80 over 2. And then our x will be, um, that will be 2, that will be 32 over 2. Or this uh, will give us uh, 128. That will be minus 128 minus 128 over 2. So x equals 16 or minus 64. Don't forget that uh, we represented the uh, x with uh, something. That our x, okay, is actually... 4 raised to the power of n. So we can write that now. So that will be 4 raised to the power of n equals to 16. Or 4 raised to the power of n equals to uh, 64. Minus 64 rather. Pardon me. So that will be minus 64. So 4 raised to the power of n equals to 4 square. Or 4 raised to the power of n because the only way we can actually represent this is actually by doing uh, minus 4 raised to the power 3. And of course, you see that this we have no solution. Okay, there is no solution of n here. So therefore, we can say n equals to 2. So this will be our solution. Our n is equals to 2. So this is how you walk your way through from beginning to get our n. And now that we have our n, we can easily find our n. M because we recall that m is equals to 5 minus n so we write that now we say recall that what m equals to 5 minus n such as we have it being uh, represented um, from beginning so you can see it here so that's what we have m equals to 5 minus n and then m equals to 5 minus 2 because our n is, is 2 now so you can say m equals to 3 so we say therefore m equals to 3 n equals to 2 if you really want to confirm this you can cross check okay you can try to cross check this let's cross check this of course let, let's me even do this uh, here let's cross check it uh, we have 4 raised to power m m is 3 minus uh, 4 raised to power n n is what 2 equals to 48 so let's test out this so this will be 64 4 raised to power 3 is 64 4 square is 16 equals to what 48 so when you uh do this you see that uh, this will give you 48 equals to 48 so the left hand side is equals to the right hand side and that means that what we are correct so if you also try uh 2 raised to the power m plus n equals to 32. That will be 2 raised to the power 3 plus 2, which is uh, 32 now. And that's 2 raised to the power of 5 equals to 32. That's 32 equals to 32. Again, 
the left hand side equals to the right hand side that means that is correct so this is our solution thank you please share out this video and please i'm expecting your comments your like subscription and um, recommendations if you have any questions or you have an easier way of doing this you can also share your idea the um, aim is for us to enjoy you know the beauty of mathematics together bye